Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. I haven't done one of these in a little while, but I figured I'd give you a little update on the studio space here. It's a bit of a mess, and that's because I'm in the process of reorganizing and resetting up everything the way that I want it to be set up here. I just recently had an electrician come in and do a whole bunch of work on all the different outlets, so now I don't have to worry about tripping any circuits by running a whole bunch of printers here in this one space. Now this back corner might look a little familiar to you because I've been using it primarily for all of my video recordings here in the new space, but that's actually the wall that I wanna have all of my FDM 3D printers set up. So I figured since today's video is being sponsored by Elegoo, let's set up all my different Elegoo FDM 3D printers over here on some storage racks, and then over on the opposite wall, over here, we're gonna set up all of my different Elegoo resin 3D printers. And I still don't know exactly where I'm gonna be setting up my tables that I do most of my recordings at in this space, but we'll figure that out. Now I've got this back corner space here all cleaned up and it's now time to bring out those racks and get everything set up. <laughs> I just realized this post is facing one direction, this post is facing a different direction and that's inevitably gonna drive me absolutely crazy if I don't have those set properly. Also, I think I might leave a little bit of space here on the bottom for storage for filament and other small things that I might be able to fit in containers on the bottom shelf. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Now, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna set my 3D printers on. Once they're on the racks, if I'm gonna get some plywood or uh, foam mats or cardboard here, but I do have these large cardboard strips from some packing material, so I'm gonna set these down as a temporary piece here, so just so I can measure out the, uh, the length there, the height, with the 3D printers on them so I can figure out the shelving for the next set. Those honestly fit like perfect. I'm a little shocked and I kind of wish I had more of them. Like in the video that I did in my house previously about setting up all these printers, I should be able to fit four on one shelf. So in theory, I should be able to have eight up and running on each shelving unit and I have enough power to go to each individual outlet because I've had all of them rewired to individual circuits for this building here so that I don't trip anything if I have eight, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I don't think I'm gonna have that many up and running, but at least I'm gonna have eight Neptune printers set up here. Well, that's the goal here. Also, I'm not 100% sure about the staggering approach for the printer set up here. I mean, it, it technically should fit, but it just seems a little bit tight. Um, this shouldn't bump into that rail. The beds shouldn't bang together or anything like that or hit the back wall. So I'll, I'll give it a test and see how it goes. So I'm a little sweaty, but I've got everything assembled and I ended up doing three and three for the printers. And the best part about these storage racks is that if you buy two, you can actually fit three storage racks together with just two of them. All right, so I got everything more or less, well, not even more or less. I've got, I've got it kind of set up here in the new studio space, but I've got five out of the six printers up and running. Uh, one of them I'm gonna need to do a little bit more review of to see exactly what's wrong with it. I think I just got banged up on the drive over here. <laughs> Anytime you're moving 3D printers around, inevitably you're gonna either have to re-level them or just adjust them slightly to compensate for any of the banging around while they got moved. Now I could have tried to fit four and four, but again, I don't wanna to be too cramped with the machines in there because I do need to be able to get in there easily, get filament in and out, or take a printer out if I need to for repairs. So having three and three seems to work well. I am gonna have my hands full here over the next few weeks trying to get 
the other machines up and running. I'm very excited to get the Neptune X up and running and get some content made for you guys to show you how that thing actually runs and prints. And I've got a lot more room over here on the other shelves for other printers or even larger printers that I might be getting or already have on hand that I just haven't brought over to the studio. And I also have enough space here for one additional storage rack that I'm gonna be looking at setting up. Now on the resin side of the room, again, this is completely blocked off from any windows. I've got a lot of storage racks set up and ready for resin 3 printers to be up and running in this space. This isn't even all of my Elegoo resin 3 printers. I just haven't brought them all over from my house to here, but I have uh, the Mars 3, the Mars 3 Pro. I've got the Saturn 2, the Jupiter, the Saturn S, and the original Saturn all here in the studio. Currently, nothing printing just yet, but I definitely will be here soon, and also have lots of additional room for other printers. I might end up adjusting the spacing as well, depending on there if they're larger or smaller printers, but these racks are working pretty well. I'm still gonna be looking into better options here for the actual tops for the resin printers. If you have suggestions, let me know. One additional thing that I'm gonna be looking at doing is I have this little nook area over here that I'm gonna be looking at setting up with a table here that I can have a dedicated space for the resin cleanup. I do have a table back at my house that I'm gonna look at breaking down and bringing you over for that. And then back on the FDM side of things, I also have this little nook area over here where I wanna get another larger workbench put over here so that I can actually box up all of my Etsy orders or just all my 3D printing orders that I need to to just basically have a dedicated space for all the packaging materials, tapes, all that good stuff so that I can just get all that prepped and ready to go. Now, one big thing that I've got to sort out is the middle space here in the room. I'm actually, the tables here are not gonna end up staying here, but I really like this idea of a larger space here in the center of the room that I can just use as a workbench. So if I need to do maintenance on printers or assembly of printers or unboxing videos for you guys or just building or painting videos, I have a dedicated space for that. So I'm gonna be looking into options for that as well in this space. And then that leaves me with this other room here, which is the front area that I've always intended on using as my actual recording space that I really haven't done much anything to since moving into the building other than patching some holes. So I still need to do some work in here, but I would really like to get somewhat of a more updated take on my old basement studio backdrop here on this back wall. I've got some ideas for it. Uh, we'll see how that actually goes here in the future. Hopefully I'll get that done this summer. But I did want to take a minute to say thank you again to today's video sponsor, which is none other than Elegoo, the makers of the Elegoo Neptune series of FDM 3D printers that I love printing with. I now have way too many of these, and there's even, I think, two more still at my house that I need to bring over here, which is just wild to me, but they are such fantastic printers for the price point and just work great for me in my setup and my needs. And recently, Elegoo released the Neptune 3, which has auto bed leveling built into it, along with a few other goodies, and it is such a fantastic machine to work with. And if you're interested in more information about any of Elegoo's products that they offer, you'll find links to those down below. I just wanna say again, a huge thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. But this was a fun one, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed a little bit more of a behind the scenes look at the setup of the studio space here as it's continually evolving. And if you're interested in more information about the shelving units that I went with here for the studio, these are all from Costco and I believe they were about $220. Pre-pandemic, they were like $120. So quite a difference in pricing and they might even gone up even further since I picked these up back in like January or February. And a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in more information about my Patreon, you'll find links to that down below. But let me know what you thought about the video and if you have any suggestions for the studio space here, I definitely need to figure out some stuff to go on the walls filament storage ideas, all that good stuff, still have to sort out. But it was really fun making this and sharing it with you all, and hopefully you enjoyed. Hey, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.